Well, today, although it's cold and dreary, I got my son, my nine-year-old boy George, he's outside with Sadie, and we're working on uh, polite leash manners. You know, notice with that leash there, it's just kind of hanging a little bit loose. Now, there's a little tension in it here and there. A big mistake people make when they're trying to work with their puppies, uh, or even their older dogs, is they think in terms of this old-fashioned, militaristic-style heel, where the dog's head stays right by your knee. Listen, guys, there's no point in teaching that. That's just plain old silly, you know? If you're not doing a dog show, then just leave that, you know, for the dog show people. Because all you really care about when you go outside with your dog is that they walk politely. You know, what we call that around here is the one finger rule. You should kind of be able to, you know, walk a dog with one finger. Yeah, sure, they might get a little ahead of you sometimes or maybe a little behind you sometimes. But, you know, if it's, if it's not so much of a big deal that you can't walk them with one finger, it's not worth fussing about. Now, the thing that people always wonder when I'm doing food work programs with the dog is, how is it going to work when the dog's, you know, outside and is facing a lot of distractions? Well, how it's going to work kind of depends on how well your food work program is designed. And the way I do mine, where I build on incremental success and I gradually add in layers of uh, distraction and I do a whole bunch of socialization, you know, we really don't run into a whole, pro whole lot of problems where the puppy gets outside and uh, feels like the walking or the doing the obedience exercises are boring in relation to what it could be doing in the environment. If you, if you watch right here, look at look at this little puppy. She's just paying attention to George, and you know George has a piece of kibble in his hand, and she likes getting it. But for the most part, you'll notice she kind of looks up at George and just waits for him to pet on her and love on her. And a uh, big thing that you have to see when you're doing food work, if you do it right, you can use all the other dogs as uh, to leverage your motivation level. See all these other dogs. Sadie's competing with those other dogs right now. It's like she has George all to herself. And uh, that's important for a dog to feel like they're special. You know, notice this little brown Malinois come up behind Sadie. And what he's doing is he's saying, hey, wait a minute. Why is George paying so much attention to Sadie? What's Sadie doing? I'll, well, I can do that. Look, watch him run up that uh, little board there. And he's like, Let me, come on, George, pay attention to me. And we get these dogs competing against each other. And so we use that competition to help maintain the motivation levels.